Hi, Natalie. Hi, Darren. How are you? Good, thanks. How are you? Good. It's just the two of us for now. <laughs> <laughs> it's always hard to tell how these things will go, but um, I know. It should look. I know. Usually, we have twenty to thirty people, but um, I, do, I look. It'll be recorded anyway, and they they always look for the recordings. That's grand. And she look. You know what I mean? It's it, it's no problem. It's hardly anyway. She's only five chests, so they could still turn up yet. You know? Yeah, exactly. I I'm just trying to figure out my camera. Oh, oh, there we go. That's what's wrong. Just trying to figure out my camera because um. Oh, it's black. Yeah, it's just black. Oh yeah. my god. I got my laptop upgraded there on Friday, oh, so <laughs> yeah, I had issues with that as well. It, it's in the settings, I think. Um, Natalie, oh, if you go up, like not in the actual thing, but if you're in oh. the main screen, that up in the settings, there's a way of resetting it to activate. Oh right, okay. Settings. I'll have a little play around with that there. So device settings, um, integrated webcam, virtual camera. Where are my video? Yes, it should be in the it should be in the inputs, I think. From I know because oh, I know my my headphones um, and my speaker wouldn't work when oh. I got mine upgraded. Yeah, it kind of wipes everything, doesn't it? It does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know it's necessary, you know, but it's it's trying to get everything back up and running after. I know because we had orientation Friday, so I literally grabbed the laptop. We went to orientation, and th then I was off yesterday. So, yeah. um. OK, I'm going to have to keep trying to figure that out. You said so it's in, is it in the where it says more and then with the dots, is it? Yeah, it says, oh, do you know, it's, uh, let me think, uh, if you go into your profile, so your, your own name, and then if you go into the three dots, I think, and if you go into settings up at the top, and then it's usually in uh, devices, I think. Settings, device settings, audio, microphone. And then you've got like, audio. then you've got like, say, general accounts, privacy, notifications, then devices, and then right down, you've got a camera up towards the end. Yeah, it, I've got integrated or virtual. Uh, and the, the one that's selected for mine is integrated. Integrated, so I've done that. Integrated. And that's not making any difference. I don't know. <laughs> Typical. Hang on, let's turn it try turn it back on again. No. no. Um, there's I, and there's nothing over the camera, or anything, no? No, no, it's definitely up clear and I have the camera turned on. I might just exit and enter. I'll come back in in two seconds. Okay? Sure, do that. No problem. No, Thanks, yeah. Darren. Bye. Okay. <laughs> No, it's still black. I'll try it. We'll Yeah, if, if anybody joins us. <laughs> do you have a presentation, Daryl? Or what? I do have a presentation. Yeah, just to kind of remember, because there's a few bits that need. We've changed our processes, so um, I just want to make sure I mention the processes so that people know exactly what to expect. You know, um, so I do have a presentation, but it's not very long. Perfect. No, because we do, I mean, we get a lot of questions from students, um, especially from the states about, you know, what, what are the services? What do they include? And, yeah. um, you know, what paperwork do I need? Like, is Absolutely. it like, do I need? So that's the main thing. So yeah, look, we'll, we'll, that just, in there. 
Perfect. So will we just start because we're already being recorded anyway? Um, sure. So I, I'm sorry to everybody that I have a black camera, but <laughs> but um, so look, we'll start um, with our uh, future audience will be anybody accessing the recording. Um, so this is Daryl and she works for the UCC DSS, which is the Disability Support Services. Um, and Daryl is going to just take us through um, basically what the service comprises, what they offer, what is needed to register and things like deadlines. Um, so I'll I'll take it. I'll let you take it away, Daryl. <laughs> Thanks, Amelia, Natalie. Thank you. Um, I'm just going to share my screen there. Just give me two seconds. Perfect. Take um, your time. Okay. Yep, I can see a registration process slide. Perfect. Okay. So um, my name is Gerald Keegan. I'm the Senior Disability Advisor at the Disability Support Service. Um, I'm delighted to be speaking to you today about um, the disability support and a few different bits and pieces. So what I'm going to be talking about today is the registration process with disability support, um, the scope of disability support, what kind of supports we provide, the role of the disability advisor, and exactly how you can avail of different piece, bits and pieces. So we are actually located on the main campus. So between the Kane building and the um, quad. So it used to be the old national building that's now known as the hub. And um, so up on the first floor, um, and that's in, uh, in with the rest of access. So that's including um, UCC Plus and the Mature Students Office. Our opening hours are 9.30 to 4.30, Monday to Friday, and you can avail of both in-person and online um, meetings with us, but you do just need to book it ahead of time. So to register with Disability Support Service, the first thing you have to do is when you are registering with UCC, as part of that registration on the student portal, you will be asked a question, do you wish to register with Disability Support, yes or no? If you say yes, it'll talk you through the steps. So basically you'll select a disability category um, and you say you want to register with us and then you click submit and that will submit. If you say no and then you think actually maybe a couple of weeks down the road, I might actually want to register with disability support. Don't worry, you can actually go back and go into the student portal again and select yes, I wish to register with disability support. But you do need to select the yes or no to move on to the next stage um, of the registration with UCC. If you say yes, I wish to register with disability support, you will then receive two emails. The first email you will receive is a request to upload your evidence of disability documentation. I'll speak about that there in a little bit more exactly what's required. Then the second email you will receive is a self-screen form. We ask you to fill out the self-screen form and that will ask you things like, you know, what you might feel you might need for exam accommodations, for example. However, if you feel that you need supports that are outside of what is listed on the self screen form, then there is an option at the bottom to say, I wish to speak with a disability advisor. And you just tick that and then you'll be sent a link to book in with an advisor then. If you're happy with the options that are included in the self screen form, then you will receive an email saying, these are the reasonable accommodations that you have selected. These are what is going to be put in place for you. Um, if you have any questions at any stage, or if you do want to review at any stage, please let us know and we'll be happy to speak with you then. As I mentioned earlier, if you, if you want to speak to the advisor, either at the judging process as part of the self screen form or any point during your academic journey, all you need to do is just send us an email to meet with an advisor and they will send you a booking link to book in with them. Appointments are available both in person and online because the staff of disability support work in a hybrid manner. Um, after the appointments, any appointments you will usually receive an email outlining your supports again. And again, just to reiterate, you can review your supports at any point in time. So the question we get asked a lot is what kind of documentation do I need? So first we need is evidence of disability. So we we'll need something from like a consultant um, from like say an educational psychologist, for example, and um, from a specialist, anything like that. So we just need some piece of evidence that you have of your disability. 
And then if you get reasonable accommodations in your home university, it is really, really useful to us if we can get a copy of those reasonable accommodations from your home university. But just to write a caution here, that it might not be possible for UCC to give you the exact same reasonable accommodations um, here as what you would get in your home university. The key one that kind of comes up for us, I suppose, is around um, extra time for exams. I know in the States and Canada, for example, that you know you might be used to getting time and a half or double time. Unfortunately, that's not available here in UCC. And um, the extra time for exams is 10 minutes per hour, and that applies to end of semester exams. Um, but we're happy to discuss that with you further anyway, um, if you want to at any stage. Just a quick question about the documentation, yeah. Daryl. So um, I presume it'll all have to be translated so that you can your reading as well. Yes, Perhaps. absolutely. That's, okay. that's, yeah, thanks for that question, Natalie. <laughs> exactly, yeah. So um, unfortunately, none of us are fluent in uh, French or German <laughs> or anything like that. So yeah, we would ask that it would be um, translated um, uh, by a verified translator, please. That would be absolutely amazing because it can make our life a whole lot easier. Um, but yeah, that'd be brilliant. Thanks, Amelia. I Thank suppose you. just... just just to say to everyone that like, you know, the um, the deadline for exam accommodations for semester one is the 20th of October 2023. And um, so obviously we need to have met you or have had the self screen form back from you before that deadline in order for us to be able to put those exam accommodations in place for you. And um, that's your letter to the exams office. They, they set the deadline. Um, they need to put all of those processes and procedures and everything in place for you and they need that kind of time in order to make the timetables available to students. Um, unfortunately, there's, there's no moving with that deadline. So if you do come to us after the deadline of the 20th of October, we won't be able to facilitate you in semester one, but we will happily talk to you in January of 2024 about exam accommodations for semester two. That's just really important, that deadline of the 20th of October. Um, in terms of supports that we give, like we do give academic support. Um, so, for example, we link a lot with the Skills Centre here in UCC. Um, we also um, signpost to services. So that would be things like, you know, maybe the Mature Students Office or the UCC Plus Office, for example, um, or, you know, student counselling. Um, but there's a number of different services within UCC that we would signpost towards. Um, as well as doing supports for your academic journey. So I suppose specifically what I mean about that is like, you know, day to day lectures, exams, that kind of thing. We also do what's known as a placement needs assessment. And um, so if you are going out in placement, we do ask that you come in and meet with us um, at least three months, if possible, before you go out in placement so that we can see do you need any supports while you're out on placement. Um, and I suppose conversely, if people are going out in Erasmus, there is an Erasmus um, placement uh, needs assessment as well. Once you register with disability support, um, we give you access to our Canvas module. And on this Canvas module, we have a lot of different kind of tips and tricks and access to different pieces of software that are available to you, um, such as Cloud um, or Grammarly or XMind, for example. Um, there's all these kind of things are built into it. There's kind of like, you know, prepping for exams, for example. And um, we've group um, workshops and things too that you can avail of. So the Canvas tool course is really worth spending a bit of time looking at once you register with us because you know there's a lot of information up there but also any announcements of things that we're doing so like the deadline for the 20th of October for example or you know if there's a workshop being run that you can sign up to all of that will be um, pushed out through Canvas so it's really really important that you use that um, on a regular basis. So can I, can I ask you a quick question about the yeah. deadline? Yes. Um, so if they missed the, the October deadline, you said that they can, um, you know, contact you in January for yeah. the final exams. Yes. Um, and because we have students who might only do a spring semester. Sure. So do they have a deadline by which they need to register? They will. So if they, I mean, the spring semester ones, like I'm not, we don't have a deadline yet because the exams haven't confirmed that with us. Um, but yeah. usually those exams are in March. So usually, usually the deadline for the spring semester ones is usually around the third week in January. So if, for example, you miss the 20th of October deadline, I would still be saying to you to come in and register with us. We won't be able to put them up onto the system until 
the ITS reopens again in January, but the minute it opens in January, then we'll put it up for the spring so that it'll go into pay phase straight away. So we will be happy to meet you, happy to take, you know, what you want in terms of exam accommodations from you. It's just it wouldn't be in place for the December ones, but we can meet you after the 20th and um, no problem so that we can get everything ready to go and um, the minute it opens up again. That's perfect. Thank you so that much. Sense. Perfect. Um, so yeah, so what well, the disability advisor, the role of disability advisor, we're happy to discuss with you any disability related queries you may have. Um, you know, sometimes students aren't quite sure what they need or what you know they're finding difficult. They might need someone just to talk to about trying to pull that apart a little bit. Um, we put appropriate educational supports in place for you. So again, exam accommodation being one of them. Um, lecture recording is a very popular one that students avail of. Um, so that's where um, you'll be asking your lecturer to record your lecturers because you're registered with disability support. Um, we can give you advice on how to engage your with your academic department or other offices. And we can also talk to you about disclosure. Our role, unfortunately, is not to diagnose the disability or learning difficulties. So it is a question that we get a lot is, you know, can you diagnose me with X, Y and Z, you know, we're professionals, but unfortunately we're not medical professionals, so we can't actually do that, but we can signpost you towards people that can. Um, we will not disclose the details of your disability to another office or department without your consent. Now, when obviously discussing exam accommodations, we obviously need to share that with the academic department um, in order to put those in place, but the details of your disability is not shared, it's just the reasonable accommodation. So, for example, you know, if you've requested a shared room with extra time, the department will be told the student needs a shared room with extra time for the end of semester exam, but they don't need to know why and they won't be told why. If you're unsure about who to contact about your disability related query, your advisor is, is there for you and they will be happy to help you with that. Absolutely no problem. And then in terms of supports for all students, um, I just have up on the screen just because it's something that we get asked a lot. Um, so the phone number for student health, a link to the library website. There's a lot of really great information on the library website. So for example, there's a great piece of software called Census Access. And what census access does is it converts documents from one file type to another. So, for example, if your lecturer has put up a recommended reading as a PDF, for example, and maybe it's 20 pages long and you're thinking, oh, I don't want to have to read those 20 pages. Census access can convert you from a PDF to an MP3 file and you could save it to your phone. And that means then you could like, you know, be on the bus or be going for a walk or a cycle or whatever it is you like to do. Um, and listen to it rather than actually having to sit down and physically read it. So a lot of students really like that and find it very, very useful. The Skills Centre, I, I, I honestly, I can't speak highly enough of them. They do amazing stuff. Right? They do things like, you know, giving a presentation, how to take good notes, how to write, you know, a good academic essay, for example. And that's something actually that we we find sometimes with international students is that the style of writing an academic essay can be different from maybe mm. your home university to an Irish university. So that's where the Skills Centre is really, really useful, particularly when actually writing your first essay, do you know? Um, yeah. And there's a QR code there just to kind of link you in with the Skills Centre. Um, as always, if you have any questions, all you need to do is just drop us an email at gssinfo at ucc.ie. We have some information up on our website, but the easiest way to contact us is gssinfo at ucc.ie. Um, or if you have access to our Canvas stuff, there's a whole load of information up there that's well worth having a look at. Um, that's it for me, really, unless anybody has any questions. That's brilliant. I think it's just the two of us still, Dara. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, I've recorded everything anyway, and um, no I'll make sure it goes out onto all our socials. I'll send it to you, and I know students will ask for it. Now we'll put it into the welcome program as well as a resource, the recording. So thank you so much for your time. No problem. At all. Um, and I'm sure you'll be getting lots of questions now on foot That's of okay. the recording. <laughs> thank no you problem. so much again. No problem. Have a Thanks, good day. You too. Bye. 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 Bye.